Can you imagine suffering from a substance abuse disorder, seeking treatment, and still not being able to find a job? This is an unfortunate reality for many individuals seeking treatment in Miami-Dade County substance abuse treatment programs. And despite their best efforts to recover, poverty co comes in the way between them and success. They're unable to buy professional clothing and hygiene products, which are necessary for a successful job interview. I'm Camille, and I've been volunteering with Cash D, which is the Miami-Dade County Community Action and Human Resources Department um, since 2016. And I've seen firsthand just how difficult it is for these individuals to break the cycle of poverty and addiction in their lives. And I can't assume that no one here has suffered from a substance abuse disorder or homelessness, but I can assume that because we're attending UCF, um, we're in a far more advantageous position than the individuals I just mentioned to attain a job after graduation. So with that in mind, I'd like to talk to you all about the struggles that these individuals face, what you can do to help and what impact you will have. So many of Cash D's um, clients are very poor and they're indigent. So um, they're homeless as a result of their substance abuse sometimes. Um, hold on. And according to Dr. Dennis McCarty from the, Mass the director of the Massachusetts Department of Health, um, around 10 to 15% of homeless people suffer from a drug abuse disorder and around 30 to 40% of homeless individuals um, experience alcohol abuse in their lifetime. And these issues coming together, you have um, substance abuse, homelessness, and this leads to financial instability. So it's very difficult for them to manage their finances and get back on track and get their lives in order. And it's very difficult for them to afford things like professional clothing and hygiene products. And according to um, Sandra Sandikoff, she's the director of Cash D. Um, the goals of Cash D's programs are to teach clients coping skills for their addiction and eventually discharge them to stable housing with gainful employment. However, like I just said, it's very difficult for them to find that employment without professional clothing and without hygiene products. And here you may think maybe homeless shelters may fill the need gap here. But according to Michelle Moffa from the University of North Carolina Waters Institute, she wrote an article um, in a journal regarding the environmental health conditions and hygiene behaviors in homeless shelters. And she found that about 30% of homeless shelters in 10 studies provided um, clients with laundry services and a clean change of clothes. And while it's great that 30% of um, shelters do provide these services, that still leaves the people in the remaining 70% without clean clothes. Now, I'd like you all to take a poll I'll drop it in the chat. And give me a thumbs up when you're ready. Okay, so it looks like pretty much everyone is done. So it looks like a lot of you do volunteer or you do donate pretty frequently, which is great. And some of you may not donate as often, but that's perfectly fine because today you have an opportunity to do so. So hold on one second. Hold on, I'm sorry. So what you can do is I'd like you all to donate to the number on the screen here. And with your donations, I will use them. I will use your donations to buy professional clothing and hygiene products such as um, shampoo, deodorant, and um, feminine hygiene products, which these individuals need to um, successfully complete job interviews. 
And in addition to this, each dollar that you donate, I will personally match with an additional $1. So essentially all donations will be doubled. Now, I'd like you to imagine the impact of your generosity. Because, hold on, let me stop the share. Now, I'd like you to imagine the impact of your generosity. The professional clothes and hygiene products that you helped fund have given an individual who has been caught in a repeating cycle of substance abuse and poverty the opportunity to rebuild their life. While the pathway to recovery is not linear, donations like this have a huge impact on a, per on a struggling person's livelihood. There's another thing I would like to acknowledge though. According to the US Department of Housing and Urban Development's annual homeless assessment report, around 44% of homeless people were employed. And what this statistic shows, it, it debunks the logical fallacy that homeless people are lazy and unwilling to work because they, as you can see from this, this statistic, 44% of them are employed. Um, but however, this also shows that while a job may not be what brings a person out of homelessness, it certainly helps them survive. It puts food on their table. It allows them to go to sleep feeling full. Now, because most of us have not experienced the struggle with substance abuse and homelessness ourselves, it's important for us to practice empathy and actively work to assist those who are experiencing a low point in their lives. You've seen how substance abuse can make it harder for individuals to attain jobs, how you can help, and what that impact will be. So, I'm asking you to donate today so that I can personally match your donation so that together we can help turn around someone's life and put an end to their cycle of misfortune.